हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीवन आई माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर राजेश थोसानी यू एन मेहता हॉस्पिटल वन सेकेंड वेलकम यू फॉर माय सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टुडे द टॉपिक इज वेरियस टेक्निक ऑफ कैन्यूलेशन सो सम वॉट दिस इज अ लिटल बिट ऑफ डिफरेंट टॉपिक वाई दिस सब्जेक्ट इज इंक्लूडेड इन द लेक्चर सीरीज बिकॉज वेनस साइट आर्ट्रियल साइट सेंट्रल वेनस साइट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन्स एंड द साइट फॉर कैन्यूलेशन let we see one by one that uh, what kind of cannulation i'd included first we start with the peripheral venous circulation then we can go with the central venous circulation and finally arterial cannulation in central venous cannulation we will see with the triple lumen insertion as well as pulmonary artery catheter insertion and we can see how they are using what's the benefit of that and what are the various technique and what is the latest equipment with the help of that we can perform a central venous cannulation so let we start with the venous cannulation it's a peripheral vein that is must for every patient who is admitting in the hospital it may be neonate it may be a child or it may be adult because without cannulation it is very difficult to take blood sample to give fluids to give any medication or if patient is on chemotherapy you have to give chemotherapy any nutritional support or if you want to give any blood or blood products that is impossible without a venous cannulation so the proper size of vein and cannula and the assessment is very important to maintain a venous cannulation site for the longer time without any kind of infection and a difficulty to the patient now intravenous therapy in hospital side it is very helpful in patient is having a heart attack stroke patient trauma patient patient is having excessive bleeding or fluid loss or some overdose of the poisoning or in case of some anaphylactic reaction where patient is having a some allergic component in those patient you have to give injectable either anti allergic or the steroid and for that the iv cannulation is must some of the sedative if you want to give to the patient for some diagnostic procedure like endoscopy and all so without venous cannulation it is not possible so the securing a proper and safe iv cannula it is a first job of any medical or paramedical staff before putting a cannula the safety standards should be there because in medical science the safety is always first so the cannula should be user friendly with safety mechanism that once you are putting a cannula into the patient the bevel should not injure to the patient should not injure to yourself also so you have to put a cannula very safely and the device should be available that once you remove the bevel it will be automatically covered this is very much helpful if patient is having hbs antigen positive or hiv positive in those cases these are the disease which can be transferred to the doctors once it's punctured the patient's uh, doctor's uh, skin or having a blood puncture so uh, needle bevel should be having a proper covering so that it will prevent a needle stick injury some of the contraindications suppose a patient is having a infection on that side phlebitis sclerosis vein or any previous vein was taken and patient is having uh, having a some thrombophlebitis or some clot formation or some hardening of the vein or a painful area those area you should not go with the reconsideration for the venous cannulation so you have to change the site if patient is having a av fistula like atriovenous fistula most of the patient is from the renal disease who is on dialysis those kind of patient you should not take iv cannula on that side because this patient av fistula is very much important to remain patent because once it is blocked it is very difficult to have dialysis in further steps now once you do any procedure it is always with the indication contraindication and complication so what's the commonest complication with the iv cannulation it will be there may be chances of infection phlebitis thrombophlebitis some emboli formation pain hematoma if you had punctured the wrong vessel some of the extra vasation of the drugs arterial cannula uh, sometime you may puncture the arterial site if you not select the safe side like if you take the vein on the cubital aspect on the medial aspect there is a high chances to have brachial 
artery injury so if you follow the certain criteria and you select the vein properly with your expertise you can minimize the hematoma and the arterial puncture complication the mostly the vein we are using in the upper arm but sometimes if patient is having a difficulty we may select the lower limb also in pediatric patient it is very important to have lower limb vein because most of the time it's very difficult to get hand vein now the prevention of uh, complication is very important in any of the patient you can prevent the infection by having a proper hand hygiene use a glow then use aseptic precaution prepare the skin area or puncture area before inserting iv cannula with your aseptic solution like chlorhexidine betadine or spirit alcohol and secondly once you put a cannula it should be with no touch technique should not touch to the proximal part of the port and uh, once you uh, secure the vein it should be fixed properly with proper dressing and once you touch the cannula every time you have to wash your hand and use aseptic solution so that the vein will remain for the longer time without thrombophlebitis or any infection so most common and some of the dangerous complication for the iv cannulation is the extravasation some of the drugs which is highly irritant and if it is exavasated if you had not secured the venous cannula properly that may be a chances of blister formation or ulceration in the post operative period or sometimes chances of air embolism if you inject the uh, air accidentally without dearing the syringe in those patient it may be dangerous sometimes if you are not careful to give volume in some neonate or pediatric patient that may be high chances of hypervolemia and of course infection is there but with the precaution you can prevent all kind of complication now we move to the next is arterial line cannulation that is our most important part when we are concerned with a cardiac institute or any major surgery or any major hospital where nowadays the continuous arterial monitoring is must let we see with the arterial line by the indication uh, what are the indication which side we have to take selection of the patients allen stage is very important to check the patency of the radial and ulnar collateral circulation i will show the video from the video you can see how we are checking a uh, allen stage after the allen stage is negative we are performing a radial artery cannulation various technique most of the time we are using a direct uh, needle puncture technique but in uh, selling a technique is also useful in difficult cases the cannula is very important because the color coded cannula is always available every cannula is having a different color that we will see in our next slide what are the complication for the arterial side and how you manage that complication so this is a brief indication of arterial cannulation you have to if you want to have continuous blood pressure monitoring continuous mean arterial pressure monitoring and frequent blood abg gases or you need a frequent blood sampling in case of uh, some of the uh, some of the therapeutic procedure in those you need a continuous arterial monitoring and for that you have to take a radial or ulnar line or femoral line whatever is available let me see the video of uh, this uh, cannulation and uh, we will see the video and i will show you how we are performing a uh, intraarterial cannulation here in this slide i uh, fix with the pulse oximeter where i am checking the saturation of the patient so this index finger was selected that is the circulation of the radial side and just i am checking and i am palpating the radial and ulnar artery simultaneously and let we see what will happen because you can directly observe the color of the palm you can if patient is black you can compare with uh, your yourselves or you compare the patient's uh, opposite palm let me see i had compressed the radial and ulnar both and let me see whether is there any color changes is there because once both the arteries occluded definitely there has to be a uh, no vascular zone and color change has to be there but once you open up any of uh, vessels like either ulnar or either radial the color of the palm should be comes to its normal position within 10 seconds if it is delay that means allen stress is positive 
see and comparing with the opposite hand let me see the right our hand is little pale compared to the left and once i will open up one of the artery shortly i had open up the ulnar side and you can see the color changes has happen immediately that means the collateral is patterned and there is a proper circulation from the ulnar side if you are taking a radial artery and it gets damaged by accidental cause or some there may be some problem in post operative period in those patient the patient should not have any limb ischemia or any limb problem so that allen stress is very important to check the patency of the radial and ulnar collateral circulation again i am compressing both radial and ulnar and releasing the radial aspect you can see due to ulnar compression also the radial is also giving a good flow to the palm so radial and ulnar both is working properly the palmar arch is nicely developed so if something goes wrong in post operative period by the arterial cannulation or suppose patient is posted for the cardiac surgery where you want to take a radial uh, artery as a conduit this patient should not give any limb problem because of the vascular insufficiency so if patient is in comatose condition or patient is not able to clench the palm in those patient you can check this allen stress by the pulse oximetry also so previously i did with a, a manual examination by comparing opposite palm here we'll see with the pulse oximeter let add compress the radial and ulnar both and ask the patient to clench continuously and uh, again i'd seen this uh, same manure i repeat again now we see on monitor on pulse oximeter sometimes in uh, negro patient african patient they are very black so it's very difficult to have uh, assessment of the palmar circulation so in those patient let add palpate radial and ulnar both compress both so that there is no circulation you can see there is a dampening of the wave no wave is coming right so it's a straight line the saturation is gradually getting down and down but it won't go too much so it's a temporary ischemic zone now again i open up one of the vessels you can see and see the circulation is established the wave home has come again i compress the both and the straight line is coming there is a poor circulation and i will open up the radial side you can see again the tracing is coming that means i had confirmed by the manually as well as with the pulse oximetry to check for the patency of the radial and ulnar collateral so this is called allen stress and this is a cannula 20 gauge cannula with port is available for the iv sites and without port is available for the arterial cannulation because port is not advisable because accidentally sometimes the staffs may inject any kind of drug in post operative period or if you want to put it if you are a custom or if you are comfortable with a cannula having a port you have to fix that port so that nobody will open up in post operative period and there should not be any accidental insertion 